Hey everybody, Thomas here. And we just finished disbudding this male right here. As you can see, we've got the iron over there. I'm not gonna show the whole process. I actually recorded this last year, and I figured like people be very disturbed at how uh, uh, this looks. <laughs> it's kind of rough and everything. But as you can see, this is a male, and a male you gotta do a little bit more on. You gotta do like kind of like a figure eight, uh, meaning you wanna have two overlapping circles. Uh, and actually get all the way down there and we just put this blue coat on there uh, males tend to continue to grow horns more so than others as you can see the end of this uh, iron here is a circle so you have to overlap twice essentially and sure if you want to go ahead and burn into here what we're talking about so you've got one circle there already but the figure eight we're talking about and do one more so you can show the figure eight is you want the overlapping circle like the ring itself to overlap just like that on top of, of the head and everything and <clears throat> it's very critical that you do that because they'll get these spurs that grow up and if you ever seen a male with like a unicorn horn or something like that it means that the, this bedding process did not go well so he's trying to recover right now we did put blue cut on him here it is kind of a traumatic experience because it takes a number of uh what do you call it iterations if you will to take all that uh, bone cap off now, Allie here, she's been watching the whole time, and then our next uh, goat will be over there. So, uh, we're about, we've got, well, how many, four more females to do? Yes. Four females to do, and then we will be done for now. <laughs> so. They actually cried just as much when I was yeah. doing the shaving as when I was and, doing the And we'll show the shaving here on this next goat and everything, and we'll show just a little bit of video, but I'm going to have to throw in a time lapse because... People might be freaked out how much screaming goes on. It's it is a kind of a gruesome process, but uh, it, it is a necessary process when you're dealing with dairy goats because it's something that will cause them to damage and hurt other goats themselves. Get stuck in fence. There's a lot of issues. So as you can see, you know, Mama's going to take care of him. He's probably going to go right on the teat here in a second. He's like, man, they were so mean to me. I tell you what. But um, this is a box that we've used now for two seasons. It's worked pretty well. Uh, however, he's getting a little bit big. Uh, you got to do it when they're pretty small and everything. And, and uh, watch out, Molly, don't get burned. And then when we have this little locking mechanism that just slides across here to help hold their back down, this right here keeps their body up so they don't actually, uh, you know, get onto the ground and we can't actually get them. And again, we have a little uh, cutout right here, put the, the neck right here and the head down right here. And this kind of just holds them in place. And yeah, Molly's trying to get some love in there. But yeah, very interesting process. So we'll show a little video here of the cutting off of the, the hair around the horns. And then we'll show a little bit to start off with the actual disbudding with the burning. And then I'll throw in a time lapse because it's it's rough. All right, we'll see you. Thank All right, you. folks. So here we are with Sweetie Pie the goat. And we hate doing this because she is literally the sweetest goat ever. We can name her Sweetie Pie because of that. But what we're doing right now is we're using the hair trimmers that no longer are able to be used on my head because the, the guard kind of broke on them. Uh, but now we use them on the goats or anything. We use this to take the hair around the horn bud. Uh, it also, you know, you don't have to deal with the smell as much. And also you can see because once you start applying the iron to it, it's pretty impressive how much smoke will actually come off of the goat's head. I know that sounds horrible, um, but uh, yeah. Now the good thing is, is she has very small buds, so this should be a quicker process. Uh, we've done a few goats here recently uh, where they're not really the smallest of, of uh, heads, if you will, and we had to do multiple burns to get the caps to pop off. You do about two layers of cap, and you go all the way down to essentially bare bone. It sounds very gruesome, but I guarantee you in the long run, this is a much safer way uh, to do your goats rather than down the road, you have to take it to a vet, we have to do uh, cut them out and then it, it's a really it can be very detrimental to the goat down the road but again the reason we do this is for their safety and the safety of other goats so they will not be able to get their head stuck in fences easily because they won't have the horns that essentially act like a barb on a hook of a lure and they won't be able to hurt each other because goats especially dairy goats or anything they, they, you know goats are just butt heads because all they do is they butt each other's heads I mean they'll use their heads and they'll butt things around and uh, once you start getting injuries and have to pay a lot of money uh, from you know vet bills and stuff like that you'll wish that you'd never done that so well people also get hit and, by their favorite correct. goats and uh, we uh, 
have too many children running around. <laughs> she she may have accidentally, you know, hit them because she got startled, or she was fighting another one and the kid got between them. And we just don't want anybody, human yeah. or animal, hurt. So you don't have to worry about puncturing of eyes, <laughs> puncturing of skin, all sorts of things. Uh, we have beforehand we did have a mix of dairy and meat goats and some of our meat goats did have horns and those horns did cause goats uh, to get injured and we had uh, infections we had to deal with and all sorts of stuff like that so it's just all around better and it's best if you do this when they're only a week or so old i think the timeline is between a week and seven uh, days it depends on or... male or females <laughs> uh, the males are three to five days and then the uh, females are five to seven days of age yep so it's about to begin and what i'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll film a little bit of it because there's gonna be a lot of screaming and it's it does it does seem cruel but it, i guarantee you it is not uh this is pretty quick uh and then they'll be back to normal and absolutely like as soon as we're done we put some blue coat on them and the blue coat is this uh kind of material fungicide germicide no, put on top it, it's it's amazing how fast they bounce back so Stay tuned, here we go. Hey folks, the fun is about to begin. And that's, yeah, that's a horrible term to use. But <laughs> we're about to begin this process. She's very calm right now. Uh, this does look rough, but I guarantee you this is for the betterment of her and the other goats, and it just makes everything safer. Now, I have these gloves on right here because, and they're I got some blue coat and everything on them, but this will protect my hands. Uh, I have done this before without gloves. And I will, I can attest that that, uh, that iron is hot. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let me see. You want to protect the ears? So we're burning, and you want to actually get that horn cap off. We're going down to the bone itself. If you don't do this thoroughly, you're going to come back and have to do it again. So it's best to do it right the first time and not have to readdress the situation down the road. As you can see, Sheree is, is almost doing like a, a rounding motion with some twisting action. The caps are about to be popped off. Probably this next this next round will be able to pop off. And you'll see, and I'll show you here in a second, you can start to see some white around the base. So that white around the base, you can see that in the film, not too well, but the white around the base is essentially bone. And so what she's doing right there, she's taking the first little cap sections off, and we gotta go all the way down and cut off all the blood supply and essentially the flesh supply that goes to those. So we're going to be down to just little nubbins there, but she is doing well thus far. And we'll continue on from there. And the box really just helps to maintain the body. So she's not kicking and flailing her legs around, hurting herself and, and really anyone else. So now she's popped off the second cap. Yeah, we can. So you can see a definite coloration difference. So this is down to essentially bare bone, which is good. We've only had to do uh, two or three burnings, so it's not too bad. Uh, sometimes when on the males, you've got to do multiples of that and it's just just not a fun process and as you notice there's not a lot of blood it's because we're cauterizing as we do this so there we go that pops right off and everything now we're going to do a little more cleanup make sure there's no flesh there and then we're going to come back and then we're going to sear the tops to make sure that there's no more growth happening there as well yeah she she's almost done she's got to get her to sit back down now <laughs> she's like nope not there we go here we go, girl. Oh, Scoot forward. Scoot forward. Alright. This is just the final little cleanup. Make sure there's no, there's no more blood flow going 
to that horn or where the horn used to be. And now this is going to be the capping off or cauterizing the top of that, the top of that horn. And this is where burning off the hair is important. And she's almost done. Unfortunately, she's gotten a, a little bit out of the box, so she's all over the place. <laughs> Get this ear off the way. There we go. Almost, almost done, girl. And it's very critical that you do this step that we're doing right now, uh, because otherwise you'll get some some growth occurring. It, it really just helps to deaden everything. Turner. Yep. Thank you. She won't be. Try to do this as quick as possible. This is only taking just a few minutes or anything. She is almost done. And it looks like it's a good burn. I don't see, uh, sorry. I don't see a lot of uh, points or anything raised up on this. And now. Just around the edges to make sure I got that. So now all we gotta do is apply the blue coat, which I think would have a cooling effect. <laughs> Go ahead and move your hand. Okay. And then just relax there for a second. So all in all, I'm looking at my timer here, and we did talk and take some time to show a few things. That's about five minutes. Not too terribly bad. She's just going to relax here for a second. The first thing she's going to do is want to go back to Mama and then <laughs> go get some milk. So like, you, you can't believe what they just did to me. But all in all, it's a, you know, kind of a quick process. We, we did four of these goat babies today, and all of them are doing just great. As you can see, she's not even really phased by it. Now she's going to like, what the heck? What just happened? So there you go. That's uh, Disbudding Goats in a Nutshell. And she's not really even upset with us. So, hope you enjoyed that. It's something different uh, for the channel. Now I need to get back to cutting some wood because I have not ran the sawmill or tractor in two days. So, I need to get on it. So, again, if you're liking the channel, please like and subscribe. A lot of stuff going on. If you saw this in my last video, that's the... Uh, project I'm working on. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will tell you about it in the near future on the trailer here. So stay tuned. Much, much more to come. We're learning every day about how to make this thing a reality. So it's 3 8 inch steel, just over six foot long and 24 inch diameter. So yeah, we'll see you around now. Thanks.